What's going on boys? It's your boy Dev back on Man 24 Colts franchise, man. It has been a minute since we recorded a video, man. I am in Texas right now. It's been a nightmare of a week, man. And after a bunch of renovations, torn up carpet, multiple pipes burst from the freeze, and a bunch of plumbing fiascos, we are back on Madden finally, dude. And, and you'll see I'm in a completely different scenario i just had to go to best buy to buy a new cord for my xbox because i forgot it didn't think i was going to be able to make the video we're here we got one and we are back and ready to bring pain on the washington commanders man they're three and two we're five and oh still man had an absolute crazy finish in week five against the jaguars tried to count us out they could not do it man and we get the w and we get a breakout quarterback challenge now Yes, Anthony Richardson is already X Factor, but he's gonna get be able to get a chance to get some major stat boosts and just be that much closer to 99 overall for our reigning MVP. And bear with me, man. I'm in a I'm in a makeshift setup right now. So if the audio sounds kind of funky, I'm gonna do my best to play around with it, but just you know, bear with me, enjoy the video, even if the audio is funky, it'll be better um, in the future when I get back home, I'm getting back home on Saturday, this video will be posted on Wednesday, man, so just bear with me, keep that in mind, and enjoy the video, let's get into it. Breakout quarterback challenge in week six, boys. I mean, he's having an insane season. Throw one or fewer interceptions and have 400 scrimmage yards or four total TDs with Richardson for a significant amount of XP. Should be able to do that. Four total TDs is like clockwork for him. Just have to make sure we don't throw an interception. But if we take a look at his stats so far, it's video game numbers. 2,100 passing yards, 21 TDs to only two interceptions, man. 68% completion. And he also has a rushing touchdown, I believe. Yep, does. I think it was week one against the Jaguars. He scored that, man. So he has 22 total touchdowns to only two picks, man. And we're looking to do more of the same. We're going to tear him up through the air. We're going to give Anthony Richardson some opportunities to make some plays with his legs. Let's freaking go, man. We do have 66 coach points. So let's get right into that. We boosted zone coverage for corners, free safeties, and strong safeties. I want to do that again. And is there any ones where we get a speed upgrade? Well, all right, boost injury for linebackers, safeties, and corners. That's massive. Or we can do the offensive catching tree and get catching for wide receivers and tight ends. Interesting. I feel like our offense already plays so well. I'm going to go second level, and I'm going to try and get injury boosts for these guys just because everyone gets injured so often sometimes randomly. I want even more chances for our guys to stay healthy, man. So let's get right into weekly strategy. And then we're jumping into week six. Let's go. Okay, upgrades ahead of week six, boys. Only one. It is the new pass rusher, Aaron Adams. And he's going up to an 81 overall. Was he ever a steal, man? We picked him in a first round pick up for Javon Holland. And he's plus two finesse moves. He's up to 87 finesse move. Good God. Him and Quincy Moss are going to just be staples of the pass rush of the future of this team. I did want to show you guys Heath Robinson. I think this is a generational quarterback, guys, because he has he looks to be one of the best athletes I've ever seen and could be unbelievable. So let's keep an eye on Heath Robinson. But none of our guys have shown us anything more. 55% is the peak of what we know. So we'll keep an eye on that. But we are only in week six as we progress We'll get to learn more, man. So let's get into week six. Colts commanders, let's go and keep the undefeated streak going as well as get Anthony Richardson some more XP. Four total TDs, only one pick. Let's get it. And we're getting the ball first, man. They choose to defer and they give Anthony Richardson a chance to punch him in the mouth immediately. Unless Carlos Woodson wants to start out with a kick return touchdown. Let's see what we got. Nada. An AR5 who's been having one hot start to the season is going to bring the offense out with Marco Thomas still at running back with the injured Ben Roberts. He's been unbelievable. An undrafted rookie free agent. We're going to continue to give him work. But nothing there. Only one yard, boys. But I'm looking Jelani Woods. Got him. In traffic, Woods! 
hangs on, makes the grab. Is he ever reliable, man? He has to be our most reliable target. We might have Williams here if we're patient. Do lob it up. Williams, get under it. Diving grab. If he hits him in stride there, it could be a massive game. But nonetheless, 18 yards is still awesome for the kid. Like this for Marco Thomas. Cut up field. Look at the footwork from Marco. Polo. Woods. Woods was so open. We missed him. Okay, there's nobody open. We're drilled in the backfield. I like a Michael Pittman post here. Got him. Pittman converts down to the 16, and Craig Fox is injured. See what Richardson can do here. Can he get his first touchdown? It's Williams! Touchdown! J-Mo! Back in the freaking end zone. He has been unbelievable. And he is back on the board with the first score in this one. We're up 7-0. Let's go. And we're going to bring in Mike Bates. So we can ensure we keep Craig Fox for the long term here. All right, here we go. 3-4, playing a lot more 3-4 again. See we our pass rush could get home. Dent tracking, big time tackle. Eckler playing for the commanders now. Interesting. That's Brents intercepted. Julius Brents gets under the football and it's going the other way. Come on. Brents has really started to become an absolute force in man coverage. Now, last week, yes, he did give up the, that bomb play um, to the Jaguars. But other than that, I mean, he's been absolutely clutch a lot of times in man coverage recently, starting to really become a very complete player. We're going to go RPO here. To Marco. Oh, look at the patience. Marco Le'Veon Bell Thomas. Able to pick up two yards on what looked like a dead play. We're going mesh spot. Sharif. Here we go, buddy. Got, got Craig. No, not Craig. Carlos Woodson down to the 15. Keep in mind, haven't played with this team in about two weeks. So knocking a little bit of the rust off. I think we're doing a pretty damn good job so far. We got press coverage here. And Verts, someone's going to win here. It's Woodson. Woodson can't get in. He's at the inch line. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Well, he's going to get his touchdown right here. Touchdown, Carlos Woodson. He got robbed at the inch line. We're giving our guy the TD. That is going to be two touchdowns already for AR5 in the first quarter, baby. And bear with me, guys. I do have to be somewhat quiet because I'm staying with friends right now while I'm in Texas. So I'm not going to be screaming like crazy. But when I get back home, trust me, we're going to get fired up. Coming back out after the Julius Brents interception, Carlos Woodson got the pick or got the touchdown after. Now it's 14-0. Commander's trying to get back on the board. And it's the Harp playing all night long. The Harp, Josh Harper. He is a... Force. Oh, Denigbo going. Who's there? It's OA. Adafe OA brings him down. Gilmore, the new superstar quarterback. I believe he's a sophomore, maybe. One of the more recent draft picks. Show him why we are a great defense here. And we've got another guy going. OA almost got another one. Oh, my God. Quarterback looking lost. And this is a nightmarish start for the commanders here. This is the same Commanders team that absolutely crushed the Cowboys a couple weeks ago. What a block! Oh my god! <laughs> so close to breaking that, man. I mean, we're nearly around the edge there. See what Marco Thomas can do here on the scissors route. And yeah, we got to check down. It's Jelani Woods, the sure hand. He's injured! Jelani Woods is injured. This never happens. And right after we said we focused on giving... Injury boosts to our defensive second level. Our offense is getting decimated by injuries. You got to be kidding me. We're giving Marco Thomas a tote right up the middle. Patience! Marco gets it done. And it's a strained tricep. Cruz, the Cruz missile, is going to get work at starting tight end this game. 
Not something we have seen in his entire career, I don't believe. And he's going to get the carry. He's going to get a catch right off the rip. It's Cruz. Nope. It's a Pittman bomb. Michael Pittman back in the end zone. And it's not a bomb. It's just a normal catch and score. We haven't seen that from him in a while. And we might have three Pro Bowl wide receivers on this team. Williams, Woodson, and Pittman all have a shot to be pro bowlers this year. And our defense has looked lights out this game. See if we can continue our dominance. Dent. Chester Dent is running around like a heat-seeking missile. Oh, fake me out. What a route by McLaurin. Three option. Gilmore down the field. Hit stick. But a 23-yard gain for Nick Gilmore, dude. Good recovery to not let Gilmore run wild there. Givens was right there. That's such a good throw. Cisco in man coverage. It's wide open. I mean, Poindexter gets absolutely fried by Austin Eckler. You've got to be kidding me. That's a defensive back on an old-ass running back in man coverage. And we can't, you got to be kidding me. Touchdown, Commanders. And they make this one a little bit more serviceable. What the hell was that? Dude flew across the field. Cruz! Cruz! What recovery by the DB? That was going to be a touchdown. I mean, that's that's a touchdown. This could be this could be a big play right here. Yeah, it is. Woodson down the sideline. He's gone. 15, 5, touchdown, Carlos Woodson. His second touchdown of the game. And he's looking to cement himself as one of the best receivers in the league this year. After rookie of the year last year. He's having an amazing, amazing season. Oh, it's it's a monster play. Thank God Cross got hands on him or that would have been Gonzo. It's 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 a read option. Punch the football out. He breaks off Cisco's punch. I didn't have the angle. Dude, they're running read option at the perfect time. We send the dogs. I thought somebody might just break through and get to him. No cigar there, man. Lionel Johnson, go. What is that? This guy's a magician. Jahan Dotson, touchdown. I mean, Lionel Johnson comes in free. I just can't get to the quarterback in time. Gilmore is a really, really good improviser. Got Cruz. We got Williams. Down to the 26. Laser. And we will continue to burn some clock here. We got Thomas out of the backfield. Tried to juke him. Didn't work. Gotta go no huddle here. Let's give Pittman a screen opportunity. I like the numbers over there. He's got blocks. Use him! Almost got through, man. Oh, my God. That's close. That's very, very close. But I like Cruz on this trail route a lot. Nah, it's covered. It's covered. It's covered. It's covered. Richardson! Out at the two. Oh, man. Thomas! Touchdown! Marco Thomas is in the end zone. Perfect clock management. Eight seconds left. Colts are up 35-14. Let's go, baby. Big time, dude. We have now scored Marco Thomas, Michael Pittman, J-Mo, and two Carlos Woodson touchdowns. Getting everybody involved in this one. Really? Oh, mid-blitz. This will be. This should be a sack. This should be a sack. Go get him. Hadley's burned. Recover. Emmanuel Hadley. How is that not intercepted? Did the receiver play defense? Because that should have been intercepted. He was hit as he threw. They just collided in the air. Yeah, it's just a 50-50 ball. Actually bounced off his head. 
That's a screenplay. First down. And more. <sighs> Roll mid blitz again. It seems to work, man. We get really good pressure off this play. Whoa, what? This is the best play I've ever seen. Cross off the bounce. He's going to score. Pick six. What? What did we just watch? <laughs> Let's go. That's an un. Unbelievable play. Cross catches it off the bounce. It hits Poindexter, and he takes it all the way to the crib. Let's freaking go. Clip that shit. Oh, it's it's a speed option. Hit this. What? How is he not fumbling there? Oh, it's another read option. Who he sheds a sack? But who cleans up? It's the harp. Josh Harper playing the harp. I love that he always gets the guitar because <laughs> it's similar to a harp. He gets in there. Poindexter almost got the sack. And I want the harp to get up to superstar. So I want him to continue to get, get sacks, man. It's going to be hard to give Ben Roberts his job back knowing how good Thomas has been. I mean, he just picked up 10 right there. Need a block. Juke. Push. Fourth and one. We're up 42-14. I'm going for this. And it's going to be a Marco Thomas screenplay. He's running in place. Doesn't matter. Marco's better. We got pancake blocks downfield. Marco Thomas up to the 41. What a play. And what good blocking downfield. Good God. 99-99. I know you like those pancakes, bro. Come on. <laughs> we got Pittman. Dude, I mean, that's crazy closing speed. For the DB didn't play it until the very last second and somehow gets there. I mean, that's that's an unbelievable play by the defensive back. I thought we had it. Pittman to the house. It's... It, it's, it's, uh, it's really good coverage. It's a bad read by me. I mean, I just panicked. Pressure was coming in. Oh my god. Headed to the fourth. It's 42-14 here at Lucas Oil. We are blowing out the Washington Commanders. Go get him, Moss. It's OA again. Sack number two. We're getting a ton of pressure now out of this 3-4, man. It's three sacks today. Let's see if we can get another one here. That's Cisco. That's Cisco. User cookies. Andre Cisco. Getting involved, man. He hasn't gotten a ton of picks this year because he's back at deep safety. But we click on and we user that shit in man coverage. At Woodson. Juke. Broken tackle. Down to the 41. Woodson having a big time game. And Richardson now over 300 yards. Woodson again. He's unbelievable. If that's a streak, that would have been a touchdown probably, but that blocks here. Pittman down the sideline. Touchdown, Michael Pittman. Another one. It is a bloodbath here. A bunch of receivers going nutty. We've constantly gotten pressure on the quarterback, forced turnovers, and it has really put pressure on the commanders. They just have not been able to take advantage. Oh, it's a, it's a draw play, and I just get pancaked. The harp gets hands on him through the block. Love the fight from this kid. Nick uh, Gilmore now has over 100, or has over 50 yards rushing on the day. That's swatted by Hadley, could have been intercepted. Why doesn't he intercept that? Go get him. It's Odenig bow. Really good pressure, man, and just can't get him, get to him before he gets the ball off while he's being brought down. I mean, that could have been a fumble. Bernard Raymond at tight end right now. This, this is insane. It's Cruz. Cruz! A Cruz missile! George Cruz, big time play. Down to the 41. Three for 77 for Cruz, stepping in for the injured Jelani Woods, and he's making a big impact here. Juke. Thomas! Juke! 
Down to the nine. What a play. Marco Thomas finds a freaking way. Our 70 overall running back. Anybody who thinks that Jonathan Taylor trade wasn't just a robbery. Crazy pressure off play action. We're going to go for this, man. It's out of reach. Will Mallory was open. Hadley just takes out the knees of Dotson. Two minutes left here, 49 to 14. Route of the commanders here. Can in the game here. Can he make a play? Oh, Cisco. That's Andre Cisco. You don't throw at the deep blue. Cisco's going all the way. He's taking this to the crib. Cisco, eyes on cookies. No. Diving tackle by Gilmore. Oh, so close. Cisco, two interceptions now. You don't test Cisco deep. This is the best safety in the league. Got Woodson. Get under it, Carlos Woodson. Down to the seven, 436, six touchdowns for Richardson. It's been an unbelievable performance by our receiving core. Marco Thomas, Anthony Richardson especially, he's going to get that XP, and Marco's going all the way around the edge. Oh, so close. Oh, we're going to have... We're going to have... Marco Polo! Touchdown! And he's got two total TDs now, man. He has been on a tear since taking over the starting job, man. And, I mean, what a story. I mean, do we give Ben Roberts his job back? Do we keep Marco Thomas in? I believe Ben Roberts will be back next week. Next game will be the deciding factor. Is Marco Thomas heading back to the bench? Or is Ben Roberts going to be have lost his job to an undrafted free agent? 56 to 14 is your final boys what a performance by the offense and the defense holding our opponent to 14 points is a big time feat man this is a young quarterback definitely has some growing to do team is not very good i would say and we just played our freaking tails off richardson 24 of 36 147.7 passer rating 436 yards six tds no picks Nick Gilmore, 73.3, pass rating 15 to 25, 205, two TDs, four interceptions. Much, much different than the last game we had against the Jags, man. And I feel like we're just playing true to our overall, man. Sometimes we're going to really take advantage. And Nick Gilmore turned the ball over, couldn't move the football early. And we took advantage with great field position and with just a bunch of big time plays um, from our defense and offense. Rushing, Marco Thomas, 15 for 79 and a touchdown. He uh, was over five yards a carry. Very good performance. Also had the receiving touchdown. Um, Nick Gilmore, six for 52 at a 20. Was doing that read option, speed option shit. He was good. Eckler, 13 of 63. Red had one carry for two yards. Receiving, Carlos Woodson, eight catches for 187 yards and two touchdowns for the sophomore uh, pass catcher Jahan Dotson six for 84 and a touchdown Pittman four for 65 had two TDs Jamison Williams four for 65 and a touchdown as well it was very evenly spread out three for 24 and a touchdown for Thomas three for 77 for Cruz three for 41 and a touchdown for Eckler Everett had a couple grabs Kate Otten had a grab Sky Moore had a grab Ray Downing who looks exactly like Nick Moore had a or Nick uh, Gilmore had a grab and Terry McLaurin only had one catch. And Nick Gilmore is actually a third-year player. I thought he was much newer. Defensively, a bunch of sacks as well. Odafe Owe has his... He's had a couple multi-sack games this year. He's taking a big-time step towards being a top edge rusher in this game, um, in this league as well. Uh, Josh Harper got a sack. Montez Sweat had a sack as well. And then interceptions. Andre Sisco with two picks. Um, Nick Cross had the had the tipped pick into a catch, and then uh, it was like bounced off Poindexter up in the air. Cross catches it in stride and takes it to the house. Julius Brents also had an interception as well off man coverage. So big time numbers, man.
Adafi Oe and Harper lead the way with two TFLs. And then as far as TDs, man, Nick Cross, the only lone t uh, pick six defender. So he is up to X Factor now and showing why he deserves it rightfully so, man. Him and Cisco, what a story, man. And we get the dub 56 to 14. Let's see how much XP Richardson gets for that performance. 23 coach points is awesome. And uh, we get some upgrades here. Marco Thomas, Nick Cross, and JC Can. Marco Thomas going up to a 71 overall. Want to continue to build him as an elusive back. And goes up to a 71. His XP bar is still only 4,000. Gets plus two carrying, plus two awareness. He's carrying now up to a 77. He needs to get better at that. Cannot be putting the football on the ground. So there's a lot to do. But if he's the starter and he has a good year, maybe wins rookie of the year. Offensive Rookie of the Year, he could really make some development strides, get a bunch of XP. So JC can up to a 78 overall now, continue to build him in zone coverage. He's been a really good depth piece, comes on the field, plus three zone for JC can. What an upgrade for the kid. And he now has 90 speed, 86 zone coverage. I mean, I think this was a great pickup. He's awesome. And then Nick Cross gets an upgrade. Like I said, I think I want to make him better in man. He's already got 95 zone coverage now, 92 speed. Um, I want to make him better as a hybrid player. And so we are going to get him up. He doesn't... No, yeah, he does. He goes up to an 87 overall. Plus one excel is huge. Plus one tackle, plus two pursuit, plus two play rec, plus one awareness. He's becoming a more well-rounded player. He's still only 24, man. Keep that in mind. We've been playing with him for four years. He's only 24 years old. And let's check out Anthony Richardson and see what he is going to get. 15,000 XP for Anthony Richardson. That should get him an upgrade point, I believe. What an upgrade for the kid. That is in lieu of a development trade upgrade. 15K is a billion points. Yep, he does get an upgrade point. Let's rip it, man. He's up to a 96 overall. It would be fun to just get him up to 99 overall. So I think let's do strong arm, man. Up to a 97 overall, almost up to 98. Plus two awareness, plus two throw accuracy deep. Deep accuracy now up to 96. He is unbelievable. And that is going to be it for this one, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, man. A big, big time difference between week six and week five, man. We did not change anything with the sliders. It's just... You know, they had an 83 overall offense. Our defense came to play, showed up, and made them pay. Offense capitalized off that. Their 87 defense, they got some pressure, but we just took over, man. Our team is so good. Maybe we need to juice the size a little bit, but we almost lost last week. So let's keep that in mind as we continue to move forward. We take on the Titans in week seven, and Aaron Adams is going to get a chance to play his former team, man. I will be back home um, on Saturday, like I said, man. So hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Appreciate you stopping by, as always, and so much support, man. I just wanted to say in person, again, thank you so much for 500 subs. It is a blessing to be able to do this for you guys. You guys make this possible, and we're going to continue to grind, continue to run it up. Let's freaking go. Madden Dev to the moon, baby. I appreciate you guys. Take it easy, and everybody have a great night. Appreciate you stopping by. Peace.